Hello, I'm Lukas Marsharek, Product Manager of the Citroen SCMOIQ Smart Condition Monitoring System, and today I will introduce you to the system architecture of our solution. The goal of this video is to make you understand how Citroen SCMOIQ and MindSphere work together, and at the end, you will be ready for the next steps. Let's get started. On this picture, you can see the Citroen SCMIQ architecture. The system mainly consists of three components. The Citroen MS200 multi-sensor, the Citroen CC220 Cloud Connect gateway, and the Citroen SCMIQ MindSphere app. The Citroen MS200 is our smart IIoT sensor and is directly attached to the asset we want to measure. In this case, three multi-sensors on a pump. The Citroen CC220 is the gateway to the cloud and receives the sensor's data via Bluetooth communication. It also needs an internet access to work properly. The Citroen SCMIQ app is deployed in the cloud and you can access it with your MindSphere account. The Citroen SCMIQ app also contains all the features necessary to set up and operate the solution. After the MS200 has been attached to an asset, and configured in the cloud software, it will send vibration and temperature data to the Citroen CC220. The CC220 will then collect the data, encrypt it, and send it to the cloud via internet connection. The data in the cloud can then be used for the training of data models in the Citroen SCMIQ app. Once a model is trained, the application can detect if anomalies in the monitored asset will occur and will notify the user accordingly. The MindSphere, our Siemens cloud platform, is the backbone of this system, and I will give you a short overview about it now. MindSphere is our cloud-based operating system, which can host many different applications for many industries. The MindSphere can be purchased in two different ways. Either you use your existing MindSphere value plan, or you source the app via MindSphere Package Builder. This will give you just as much platform functionality as you need for SCMIQ to run. Generally, we use many different connectivity devices like the Citroen CC220 to deliver data into the MindSphere. There, the data can be further processed with different applications. These applications can just visualize data, but also analyze it and generate useful insights. Citroen's SCMIQ is such an app, which allows the customer to train models to detect anomalies in the asset's behavior. There are three very common terms in the MindSphere environment, which I quickly want to define. Asset, aspect, and type. If we take a look at the real-world example, an asset is a digital representation of a machine or an automation system with one or multiple automation units connected to MindSphere. For example, a PLC. The data of an asset is collected and sent to MindSphere to make this data available for further processing and analytics. A type is a pre-configured template for an asset. Assets take on the properties of the type on which they are based. Within the type, you can define which aspects are integrated into the template. Last but not least, an aspect is a data modeling mechanism for assets. Aspects group related data points based on their logical association. For example, the pump skid has an aspect, e.g. energy consumption, that contains the data points, power, current, voltage, etc. Aspects is specified in Asset Manager, and its name can be freely chosen, but should have conjunction to data points and a physical asset. Thank you for watching. You are now familiar with the Citroen SCMIQ system setup and the required MindSphere basics. See you next time.